Hello everybody, welcome back to today's coding tutorial video. It's been about a week since I've done this, and I'm going to try to keep doing these weekly just to get back into the swing of doing coding videos along with our server reviews, plugin tutorials, and all this stuff. Now that I have time to record and get these videos done, I'm happy to. So one thing I'm going to talk about today is how you can create up like a debug thing when you're running over a block to tell you what block it is, and um, like what a uh, the data value of is the block, the data value of the block is. Um, I didn't say either of those things correctly anyway. Um, the reason we're doing this is because yesterday I ran into an issue with one of my uh, custom plugins I was developing, and it turns out I was doing the data values wrong. So, uh, hit up to the Discord, ask some of the developers who work with us, how can I figure this out? And they just said run a debug, and I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to teach all of you how to do that, so in case you need data values of blocks or anything, you can get them. So... What we're going to do is we're going to create a new class and it's just going to be called like data debug or something or a block debug uh, or something along the lines of that. And you're just going to press add like normal. You're going to implement listener because that's exactly what we're going to be using. We're going to be using an event. So we have to implement listener like we have done in our last videos. And we're actually going to get a event handler. And this event is going to be a public void. And you can say like on player block debug or something I'm not exactly sure what you want and we're gonna do a player move event so it's gonna t detect every single time when the player hits a block so every time the player moves it's gonna do something the first thing we got to do is define the player so we're gonna do player p equals event dot get player and make sure to import with alt uh, enter can import automatically when you open and click it and then you can do, we're actually going to get the location of the player because we need to figure out where they are. So you're going to do location and you can put like L, location L equals P dot get location. Just like that. Make sure to import alt enter once again and you import that. And then we're actually going to check the block below the player. So right now we're just getting the location and getting the player. We actually have to get the block below the player. So you're going to do L add and it's going to be an XYZ. So you can see um, double XWZ, that type of thing. It's going to be zero for your X, negative 0 0.5, zero. That's all you have to do. So what this is saying is we're going to get the player. We're going to get the player's location and we're going to get the, and we're going to get the location, which is point five blocks below the player this allows you to detect slabs it allows you to detect full blocks all that stuff so if this was a plane one i ran into this issue if it's a plane one it won't detect slabs at all so we were having that issue this solves it. it's negative 0 0.5 now we can actually get the debug message sent and everything and all you have to do is send the player a message and this time i'm going to do chat color dot red or something and i'm going to make it say like debug or something you don't have to do that but i'm doing it just for my example and then we are going to oh i forgot to get the block so the next thing i'm gonna have to do is block dot or block b which is the bucket block and then you just got out location dot get block it's that easy make sure to import alt enter once again so then you can do debug and then like put a space plus and then you can put like um or actually we'll do debug stand standing on and then you can do plus and then you can do l dot get block so that gets the block uh or you could just do b uh realistically because we already did that so i'll just clear this and press b and then we can do like plus again and then put like data value yeah that's right data value put another space plus and then you just do you could do dot b dot get data that's all you have to do this is um old and not it's designed for 1.8 this get data value um i'll do an updated tutorial in 1.13 and everything where i replace dot dot get data with something newer and not outdated and uh just this the cross means it's not up to date and it doesn't work on newer versions and uh things have been replaced there but this is the easiest way to do it so that's all we actually had to do in here but now we have to go back to our main class and make sure to register our event um and this event will just be block debug just like that and we've gone ahead and registered our event then you just build the jar just like you normally would in our last tutorials in our last 23 tutorials and then when you build the jar just put it inside of your minecraft server go ahead and start up the server and try joining and we're going to see what happens when we walk around and see if we get those messages when we walk around on the ground 
All right, so you can see it's loaded up successfully. We did get an error, but I don't think that's with this video. I think that's with, uh, yeah, that's not even in related to what I'm doing. But you can see I'm standing, it, it's in chat. I'm standing on craft block, and it's just um, data value zero because I'm literally on water. But if I go over to, let's say, or I'm in air right now, but if I go over to grass, you can see type grass, data value zero. So when I walk around, it's going to say if it's grass, if it's air, you can see it changes from grass to air if I jump there. So you can see it's changing and it shows me the data value. And if I stand on here, it's stone. And then if I stand over here, you can see the data value has changed. This is stone with a data value of one because it's technically granite. Um, same with over here. It's stone with a data value of three for droid or whatever that is. Uh, so you can see it just it shows you where you're standing um, and how it works and everything and what type of uh, data value it is, which comes very much in handy with like things like quartz, which I was using, because um, I kept using quartz and it wouldn't detect I was standing on like a quartz. So you see, this is step with a d data value of seven, while this is actually double step with a data value of seven rather than a full quartz block. And then if you get a quartz block, it's actually quartz block, but it's actually quartz block. Um, then you get step. And step double step quartz block so I was I, this is why I use this method is because I was debugging this mess and it was like oh yeah this is this didn't go well so I went ahead and debugged and I wanted to show you how you debug for stuff like this to figure it out because I know a few people have asked me in the past how do you do that um, and this is how it does so that's all you have to do to create like a debug system for walking on blocks and stuff if you want to see debug systems for other um, things just let me know and I'd be happy to do it and create a debug thing for you and just show it off in the video um, I apologize for not a lot of coding tutorial videos in a while but I am getting back into them I do promise about that thank you so much for watching my name is noodles if you have any questions the code is on github and in the link in the description as well so make sure to check it out and yeah all right thanks so much for watching see you tomorrow Good <laughs>